We are tracking two areas of concern in the tropics tonight. We never like to hear that. Blake, these waves are far far away, right? They are, and the uh, the first one is going to be just off the southeast coast of the United States, by the way, and that one is brand new tropical depression number 15, and that one again is going to move away, likely to become our next tropical storm, and if it does get a name, it will be Nana. So here is a look at the information coming in from the Hurricane Center right now. 35 mile an hour winds moving to the north northeast at 12. That pressure right around 1,009 millibars. So it's out here off the east coast of the U.S. going to continue to pull away just to the north of Bermuda. Here's a look at that cone of uncertainty again. Take Taking it north of Bermuda out into the open Atlantic really not affecting anybody at all, and that is certainly good news. We're also watching another system, the Gulf of Mexico, nice and quiet, the Caribbean, but we're watching this one right here, likely to be our next tropical depression as it pushes towards Central America into Belize. We'll continue to watch that, but again, at this time, no threat to the Gulf of Mexico, and that is good news. There's one other system way out here off the coast of Africa, 30% chance of development. We have a long time to watch that one. In the meantime, 96 degrees the standing temperature at Bush, 98 in Conroe. 94 degrees at Hobby feels like numbers off the charts. We're talking 110 to 115 degrees in some locations is 112 is what it feels like right now in Mont Bellevue, 106 at Bush and 107 there in Sugarland. And if you're looking for a cooling shower, you're not going to find too many of them, maybe up towards San Jacinto and Northern Liberty counties, but that is about it. High pressure and firm control of our weather here across Texas. And what you see in the pink is going to be that excessive heat warning. We don't see those very often here. And then, of course, the heat advisory for the rest of us with feels like numbers as high as 108 degrees. Now, we will see a little bit of rain move into the Brazos Valley as we get into the overnight hours of Tuesday into Wednesday morning while we sleep. This may work its way into the Houston area, but I think it's going to fizzle as it pushes into the downtown area. So I think those of you to the west and northwest of the Houston areas will see the best chance of rain over the next couple of days. Now, it looks like everybody will get another chance of rain as we get into Thursday. Thursday. Now we turn our attention to the north nationwide temperatures nice and cool in the mid 70s across the heartland. But look at the temperatures cooling down here across Canada and there are indications that as we get into the second week of September, a big chunk of that is going to break off and uh, push down into the United States in the form of our first legitimate cold front as we get into say the September 9th and September 10th time frame. And this is what it would look like. This is a long range model, so don't hang your hat on it quite yet. 34, 38, 45 degrees in Dodge City, 49 Oklahoma City. But look at that, even maybe showing 55 degrees here in the city of Houston. Hey, it's a possibility, especially as we get into the middle part of September. I'll take it 98 degrees as we get into tomorrow, though, feels like numbers once again, very, very hot, feeling like 108 to 110 degrees, 99 on Wednesday. Rain chances back in the forecast, Reka, getting into Friday and Saturday.